Johnny Manziel was one of the wildest busts in NFL history. In the months after the Browns selected him 22nd at the 2014 NFL Draft, he posted a picture of himself floating on a blow-up swan, sipping champagne before getting in trouble for flipping off the Redskins in a preseason game. In 2015, Manziel was named Cleveland's starter, but he was demoted to third string when during the bye week, a video emerged of him rapping future and drinking. In college, he was known for his partying, but he had plenty of other incidents, like when he taunted an opponent by pretending to sign an autograph in his face, right after he was investigated by the NCAA for selling autographs. Among other incidents, he had been arrested for providing fake identification to police after a fight. You changed your name to McLovin? gotten kicked out of a University of Texas fraternity party, and he threw a water bottle at a heckler at a golf tournament. You suck, you jackass. Why don't you shut the hell up? Johnny Manziel was a bona fide star at Texas A&M. In two seasons starting, he won the Heisman Trophy once and was a finalist twice. Manziel is arguably the greatest freshman in college football history and attracted publicity and the nickname Johnny Football along the way. He was talented. There was no doubt about it, but he didn't just have red flags. He was one of the most polarizing draft prospects ever. Some scouts called him a rare competitor, while others called him undraftable. The Browns passed over him early in the first round of the draft before trading up to get him, a decision they probably wouldn't do if they knew what was to come. For a guy that only started two games as a rookie, everyone was talking about him. Usually not in a positive light though. People questioned his work ethic and commitment, and one player went as far to call his rookie year a 100% joke. Manziel was given a shot in 2015, but after he struggled in six starts, the Browns released him in the offseason, in part to him being investigated for a domestic violence incident. After the NFL, Manziel played in the Canadian Football League, Alliance of American Football, and most recently, Bank Controlled Football. Manziel flamed out harder than almost any bust in league history. But more importantly, the Browns missed out on some studs drafted after him. With the next selection right after Johnny Manziel, the Chiefs took defensive end D Ford. The Auburn product became Kansas City's full-time starter in 2016. He exploded onto the scene in 2018 with a career year leading the league with seven forced fumbles and being named to the Pro Bowl. Ford is arguably most known for his offsides penalty in the AFC Championship, negating a Chiefs interception that led to a Patriots victory. The following offseason, he was traded to the 49ers for a second round pick. Ford lost to his former squad in the Super Bowl in 2019, and in 2020, he dealt with a neck and back injury that landed him on injured reserve. Teddy Bridgewater was taken with the last pick in the first round by the Vikings. While Manziel started two games and had plenty of drama, Bridgewater was the Pepsi Rookie of the Year. The next year, he made his first Pro Bowl. Bridgewater dealt with some hardships, including a dirty hit from LaMarcus Joyner that knocked him out and a torn ACL the following season. In 2018, Bridgewater signed with the Jets before being traded to the Saints, where he had a career resurgence, going 5-0 in relief of Drew Brees. That earned him a three-year, $63 million deal with the Panthers, but after one disappointing season, he was traded away to the Broncos this offseason. Two picks after Bridgewater, the Dallas Cowboys snagged a stud D defensive end in Demarcus Lawrence. The Boise State product is still with Dallas and signed a five-year, $105 million deal back in 2019. He began starting in 2015 and has been named an All-Pro and made the Pro Bowl twice. He has 45 and a half sacks in his career and has molded into a good, reliable rusher off the edge for Dallas. After three quarterbacks went in the first round, Blake Bortles, Johnny Manziel, and Teddy Bridgewater, Derek Carr went off the board with the 36th pick. The Raiders don't regret taking a shot on the younger Carr brother, who, unlike his brother David, has had a long successful career, not destroyed by an expansion team in Houston. Derek Carr has made three Pro Bowls and started in all but two games for the Raiders since being drafted. He has passed for 170 touchdowns and almost 27,000 yards in his career. If you're enjoying, please help us on our way to 
100k by subscribing to the channel and hitting that bell notification so you never miss an upload. Fresno State dominated the Mountain West behind Derek Carr and his stud receiver, Devontae Adams. There were some studs in the 2014 class, starting with the Packers second round pick. Adams took a couple of years to get going in the pros. He was solid early in his career, but he was far from what looked to be a future star, but it all worked out in the end. Adams was here. Another top receiver in today's league went eight picks later to the Jaguars, Allen Robinson. The former Penn State standout has been overlooked for a lot of his pro career, probably in part to his lack of quarterback success. He has only made one Pro Bowl in his career, despite going for over 1,000 yards three times and recording about 6,000 yards and 39 touchdowns in his career. After Jacksonville, Robinson signed with the Bears, who recently franchise tagged him this offseason. Picks 61, 62, and 63 in the 2014 NFL Draft have all found themselves successful and in the spotlight at some point of their career. Robinson went 61 before the Patriots took a quarterback out of Eastern Illinois at 62, Jimmy Garoppolo. Garoppolo only started two games in his first four years in New England before he was traded away to the 49ers, where he went 5-0 to end the season. He had a career year in 2019, leading San Francisco to a 13-3 record and a Super Bowl appearance before a fourth quarter collapse against the Chiefs cost him his third Super Bowl ring. Outside of 2019, he's only played in 15 games for the Niners, dealing with constant injuries. And now, Trey Lance looks to be the future in San Francisco. One pick after Garoppolo, Low, the Dolphins took Jarvis Landry after a standout career at LSU. Landry has somewhat quietly been one of the most efficient wideouts in the NFL since entering the league going for over 900 yards in all but two seasons, both of which he narrowly missed out on the feet. He became a star in Miami before he was traded away to the Browns, later forming a star-studded duo with Odell Beckham Jr. while they catch passes from Baker Mayfield. He is a six-time Pro Bowler and led the league in receptions in 2017. Landry has recorded over 7,000 yards and 35 touchdowns in his career, most of which from the slot. The Browns have Landry now, but he would have been a better selection at the 2014 NFL Draft than Johnny Manziel. To be fair, just about anyone in the draft would have been better, not offering a major distraction in the city of Cleveland for antics on and off the field. Manziel is one of the most polarizing figures of the past decade in the NFL, and while he didn't work out in the pros, like, at all, there's no doubt that the Manziel saga in Cleveland was one hell of a ride. Thanks for watching. Please help us on our way to 100k by subscribing to the channel and hitting that bell notification so you never miss an upload. Once we hit 100k, we're going to be giving away an NFL jersey of your choice. To enter the giveaway, all you need to do is follow our Instagram and tag us on your story with a screenshot of you subscribed to the channel with the bell notification on.